Well, welcome back, guys, and welcome back to Parasite Eve. All right, so it's finally time. We're going to be taking on the Chrysler building in this part and the subsequent parts to follow. <clears throat> so the Chrysler building is available only in EX mode, which is New Game Plus. This is an optional dungeon with 77 floors. Except for the boss floors, which are every 10 floors, every, f every floor will have a completely randomized layout. Enemy variety is locked between each 10 floor segment, but items will be randomly placed between each of these segments. Item types are locked to certain floors, however, like how, this, how CM Armor 2 will always be somewhere between floors 61 to 70, for example. I think you can also just leave the stock up with items and save after every boss is defeated on each 10th floor. Once the building is fully completed, however, it will not reset going into further New Game Plus on that save file. So if you want to like tackle it again at some point, I would suggest making a separate save file. Also, while going through the building, we're going to be trying to keep an eye out for trading cards. There's 14 total, all found within the Chrysler building. If you give these to Wayne and check out his rare, rare card collection after giving him 10, 9 to 12, he'll give you a tool kit with unlimited tool use. If you give Wayne all 14 of them, you'll get a super tool kit with unlimited super tool use. So that's very useful. Okay. Now, equipment-wise... <clears throat> Weapons that I could suggest using for this dungeon, I would say the M8000 or the DE5087 handgun, with and the Desert Eagle is what I have, the SG550 or the or the MAG rifle, or the MP5 PDW or the P90 machine guns. Now armor, I'm going to suggest either the B, B Jacket 1 or the CR Protector, because that's probably going to be your best bet until you can find a better armor later in the Chrysler building. We're probably going to stick to CR Armor 2, but that's going to be much, much later, which is between floor 61 to 70. All right, so stat-wise, this is what my weapon looks like. I have uh, modded it quite a bit. It's got a very high attack rating. Range and bullets are good. Uh, so command uh, the attachments that it has. Rate of fire times two. It has burst from a shotgun so that it can hit in a cone. It's got the two times commands, so you can perform two actions per turn. It's got quick draw, which gives you an 80% chance of starting a battle with a full ATV gauge. Tranquilizer and acid effects, both from grenade launchers. This has a chance of putting enemies to sleep when it hits, and this has a chance of lower, uh, giving them the defense down status debuff. Alright, and then... I've just loaded up with a bunch of medicine threes. This I can't get rid of. Alright, and I think we're about as ready as we'll ever be, so let's go tackle the Chrysler building. Now, I've, I i should note that I've never actually done it. I, I've made notes to prepare for the Chrysler building, but I've never actually done it myself. So this is going to be a learning experience for everyone involved. More than likely. All right, let's do this. Let's do the Chrysler building. I guess I need a key. All right, here we go. Yeah, like I said, the floors are going to be completely randomized, so I don't know what, what to expect. Our first encounter.
junk. Choice for the go this way now. Okay, even though there's like enemies that don't appear until later days, it seems like they're significantly weaker since it's just the start of this place. Okay, so there's a way up. That's not exactly what we want to do just yet, because we're looking for items. I did not want it. I did not need to take all that junk. Okay, so we found a storage room. We found a PE plus three. The P226 handgun. And a defense plus one. So yeah, we're looking for these storage room areas because that's where the loot is. Now, I don't know if there can be more than one per floor. Okay, that's a done end. Fair enough. Well, there's the elevator. Oh! I was not expecting it to split off again here. That's a dead end. Then I would assume that this is probably another dead end this way. So for stuff like this, if it looks like I, uh, I'll probably edit just getting back to the stairs so that you don't have to wait as long. 
So um, that's how the editing will probably go for this. Okay, so up to the third floor. Range plus four, bullet cap plus two, rocket, and a tool. Range plus four, that's pretty damn crazy. I can't believe there's so many branches already. Alright, this might actually lead to the staircase. Oh, didn't. Good. Let's go back and see where the other paths would have taken us. still unsure if there can be more than one storage room per floor, so I just want to make sure. So we can just make our way back to the stairs again. Alright, up we go to the fourth floor.
But yeah, um, the floors are completely randomized, so it probably doesn't need to be said, but, um... What you'll get from what I'm getting, in terms of floors, will more than... will guaranteed be different. So that's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, like, between each 10-floor segment, like, we're gonna keep running into rats, birds... For the most part, that's typically what we'll find between these floors. And then the items that we find, even though they're randomly placed between floors 1 to 10, it'll still be... Uh, there's like a set that you can get. Like, you can always find the USP 2 somewhere in this area. Between floors 1 to 10. Or 1 to 10. Or I guess 2 to 10 in this instance. I feel like I'm going the right way. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy to get lost on this one. Oh, it looped back around, okay. Sorry, hold on just a moment. Just had to take care of something real quick. Okay, so we found the storage room. We've got bullet cap one. Offense plus one. And offense plus one. Just, I have to check that other branch just to be safe. The one near the top that was going off to the right. I feel like if you're seeing that flower jar there, then you're probably about to hit the stairs. Because I feel like I've seen that each time before the staircase. Could be wrong, though.
Okay, good. It was just a dead end. Alright, back to the stairs. Okay, so moving on to floor five. There's a storage room. All right, offense plus one. CR evade plus one. A tool. And the USP two. these medicine ones, I guess. And I'll go ahead and use these. Okay, so the flowers are there. So, is this gonna be the staircase, like I surmised? Okay, so there goes that theory out the window. There's the elevator. Okay, have I looped back to the start? I'm pretty sure I just looped back to the start. Check something real quick. If the storage room is over here, then we've looped. Okay, great. Good to know.
and then I'm guessing this is the elevator. I mean the stairs. Yep, there we go. Alright, on to floor six. Hey, storage room already. I didn't have to take any twists or turns to get to it. I'm gonna start thinking that there's only one storage room per floor. I'll still check to make sure, but, you know, I'm starting to think that's the case. Alright, so a tool. The M1911A4. Another tool. And SP Vest 2. Pretty boring armor, really. Looking like this is a gimme floor. There's the stairs. But just to check to be sure.
the elevator. Okay, yeah, back to the stairs. Okay, floor seven next. There's a storage room. Alright, so we got the M16A2 rifle. Another tool. And CR of 8 plus 1. This is the stairs, we're just going for it. Okay, yeah, great. So this was quite a sprawling level, and I, I at least found the storage floor. So, I'm going to assume that there's only one per floor. Okay, floor eight.
elevator. There's the stairs. That's nice. Now I just need to find the storage room. Hey, there it is. Alright, PE plus one. KV jacket. And the M79-4 grenade launcher. Alright, let's make our way back to the stairs. Okay, up to the ninth floor we go. <laughs> Once we clear this floor, we'll be on the 10th floor where we'll, we'll fight a boss. And then we'll have a- we should get a key that will allow us to use the elevator and go straight up to the 10th floor after that. I think that's how it works anyway. Nice. Alright. Oop. 
there's a trading card. Right, the P228 handgun. PE plus one. And a CR of it plus one. This armor isn't very good compared to what we got. Oh wow, the elevator and the storage room right next to each other. active floor with enemies. And the stairs will be right around here. Yeah, there they are. All right, let's do this. Floor ten.
we're right next to each other again. Alright, the SV jacket. And CR Evade plus one. Boss time! And we are fighting the Spider Woman again. And she's gone. Alright, so there's Chrysler Key 1. Well done. All right, so let's uh, run back to the elevator. Now that we have Chrysler Key 1, we can always come back to this floor. Alright, so we've, we made it for the first 10 floors. Alright, going over the stuff we got. We put there between floors uh, 2 to 10. We found the USP 2. P228, the P226, the M1911 A4, the M16 A2, the M794, KV Jacket, SP Vest 2, SV Jacket, and we also got that trading card. So that KV jacket is not worth keeping. Okay. Any guns with good stats? Could do the grenade launcher. The rifle. Yeah, we can do the grenade launcher and the rifle.
good enough for me. Cleared out some of those extra tools too. these away. Now, how do I give him this card? Mamma Mia! That one's a one-of-a-kind tea card. You're a babe, are ya? Okay, good. So, just doing that... Okay, that's fine with me. Oh, wait, no. No, it didn't. For a tea card that rare, I'll give you an, an, one more tune-up. Okay, there we go. So we gave the card to him that way, but we it looks like we have to tune up a weapon in order to give it to him. Let's go ahead and save.